14. Peter Illich Tchaikovsky, 1840-1893. Peter Illich Tchaikovsky, the most famous of Russian composers, started his career as a government clerk and began to study music theory at the relatively late age of 21. His progress in music was rapid. After graduating from the St. Petersburg Conservatory, he became professor of harmony at the new Moscow Conservatory and composed feverishly a symphony, an opera, a tone poem, and by the age of 30, his first great orchestral work, Romeo and Juliet. Among his most popular orchestral compositions were the fourth, fifth, and sixth symphonies. The sixth was called Pathetique. They were 1877, 1888, and 1893. Piano Concerto No. 1 in B-flat major, 1875. The Violin Concerto in 1878. And the Overture Fantasy of Romeo and Juliet in 1869, which we will study. He wrote some of the best music for ballet. Swan Lake, 1876. Sleeping Beauty, 1889 and of course, The Nutcracker in 1892. The spirit of ballet permeates much of Tchaikovsky's music. He also wrote eight operas and an orchestral showpiece, March Slave and Overture 1812. Romeo and Juliet, Overture Fantasy. Romantic composers felt an artistic kinship with Shakespeare because of his passionate poetry, dramatic contrasts, and profound knowledge of the human heart. Shakespeare's plays inspired some of the finest 19th century compositions. Among these were Macbeth and Othello, set to operas by Verdi and A Midsummer Night's Dream, depicted in incidental music by Mendelssohn. Romeo and Juliet inspired both a dramatic symphony by Berlioz and a concert overture by Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky composed Romeo and Juliet at 29, near the beginning of his musical career. Although it is now one of his best loved works, Romeo and Juliet was a dismal failure at its premiere in 1870. After the concert, we dined. No one said a single word to me about the overture the whole evening, and yet I yearned so for appreciation and kindness. Tchaikovsky decided to revise the overture. He composed a new theme to represent Friar Lawrence, adopting a suggestion made by his friend. Despite this, the work remained unappreciated. Only about 20 years later, after further revisions, did it achieve worldwide popularity. 